Många säger att Colorados största stad Denver redan är förlorad för John McCain, men sånt lyssnar han inte på. Det är vinna eller försvinna som gäller för 72-åringen som denna dag gör en blixtvisit och bjuder in enbart kvinnor till Sheraton Hotel. Det är nästan en timme kvar till John McCain gör entré här på Sheraton i Denver men är redan sprängfyllt ute på gatan står och bara supportar och skanderar men här inne så är stämningen på topp. I think he's honest and I think he has integrity and I think he really is capable of leading our country. I'm so glad I came. Här inne syns inget av den uppförsbacke opinionsundersökningarna visar på men sannolikt är mötet en show för redan frälsta. Och när man börjar filma publiken så ser man inte en enda färgad kvinna. Och det kan ju få en att fundera över hur stor är rasfrågan egentligen i USA idag. Hur stor kan den så kallade Bradley-effekten bli på valdagen? Bradley-effekten innebär att de som i opinionsundersökningar inte säger sig påverkas av rasfrågan ändå ratar en svart presidentkandidat när det kommer till kritan i vallokalen. Vissa talar om att stödet för en svart kandidat måste räknas ner med hela 7 procentenheter för att kompensera Bradley-effekten. Barack Obamas ledning skulle alltså kunna ätas upp på nolltid. There are people that that believe that it it could be a racial issue. Um, in which way? I there's a lot of people that are not ready to see a black president. A lot of the older generation, guys my grandpa's age. 70, 80 years old, um, their children, their grandchildren. It's, it's a lot of it comes with how we were, how we were raised. In i det där huset sitter Luke's 85-årige farfar. Han har alltid röstat demokratiskt, men i år kommer han att avstå. Anledningen är Barack Obamas hudfärg, säger Luke. We've never seen anything like this before. This is a history-making deal and. I don't think that a lot of people out here are ready for a change yet. Men förutom en eventuell Bradley-effekt talar inte mycket för att McCain ska kunna vinna den traditionellt republikanska staten Colorado. I det kristna högsätet Colorado Springs pratar ingen om rasfrågan. Det här anses vara Colorados mest konservativa stad, men någonting är på väg att hända. En icke-vetenskaplig enkät på stan tyder faktiskt på att Barack Obama till och med är på väg att vinna på McCains hemmaplan. I'm going to vote uh, for the only candidate that's running left in the race that was against the war and that's Barack Obama. Is that the main reason for you? It's the primary reason because I'm a physical conservative. However, I was so radically opposed to the war. I don't know why no one has talked about the fact that this war that's cost thousands of lives, if tens of thousands of lives, is uh, actually been more expensive than this bailout. I think it's the most obscene and absurd thing I've seen, and I'm going to support uh, somebody that was against the war. I'm for Obama because he's what the country needs right now. I think he's a very honest person, and. I, I like Joe Biden and I like everything about them. It's uh, going to be uh, McCain pretty much. Why is that? Uh, he has more experience and I think his heart's in the right place. And uh, war is war and I think we're doing the right thing. God help us all. I will be voting for Barack Obama. Why is that? Uh, well, I think a lot of times that our political candidates have forgotten about the people right here at home. Um, obviously, there's a lot of struggles going on, and that's who we need to address in order to make that change. Barack Obama. Same. Why is that? Well, McCain scares me, and Palin scares me even more. It'd be more of the same with Bush and a lot of inexperience with Palin. We've decided we're going to vote for McCain. Obama likes to raise taxes, and that hurts everybody. So, not just the ones paying it, but it slows the economy. Obama, all the way. Why is that? We just need somebody new, young, not old. McCain's too old. John McCain's största dilemma har hela tiden varit hans nära koppling till den impopulära George Bush. Stödet för Bush och Irakkriget är rekordlågt. Frågan är hur mycket John McCains krigshjälteprofilering hjälper 
när inte ens krigsveteranerna själva stödjer honom. Uh, the way the Bush administration has messed everything up for us now, I feel that uh, I can't back McCain because he supports Bush, and a lot of our veterans feel the same way. Someone said that if you've been to a war, that's the last thing that you want to do again. Are you surprised that John McCain, who's been in the Vietnam War, is in this policy in the Bush administration? That's what uh, really hurts me. I, you know, he made a couple of statements as to we could be over there a hundred years or so. I, my support was going to go to Obama. And now it's 40 years since you got back from Vietnam. Do you ever get over being in a war zone? No, no. you still, uh, you still have nightmares. You always have that, uh, that thing in your mind about you know death, people being killed, you're losing your buddies. That that'll never go away. That'll stay with you for the rest of your life. So I know that uh, our troops now are going to be having the same problem, you know. But basically we all have gone through the same thing. <laughs>